Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Northern the Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Hard mode runs. Last run was very interesting. Who do we have? N we have nothing on Eve or Samson. So I'm going to play as Samson rather than let the uh, random number genera generator take control. Curse of the Unknown. Um, we just remember we have one spirit heart, one red heart, and our seed ESF8. Easy fate. QKPS. Queen King of uh, Photoshop. Very simple. That looks like a five. That's a common misconception in my own writing here. There we go. Although usually when I get the seed wrong, people don't, it's not like, hey, you put an S when it should have been a five. It's like you put a Q when it was supposed to be like a seven. I uh, I don't love the fact that Aries, I think that's Aries at least. I hope it's not Taurus. It might be Taurus. I, I hate that room. It's just a tease in general, but um, Hopefully we'll have a chance to get to it, but I wouldn't hold your breath. There are a few different ways we can make it happen. Um, we could get free ability to fly in a secret room or our item room. By the way, I'm not super worried about boss rush here, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, I could get a joker card that gave us a deal with the devil or angel. I guess it would have to be devil. Then take, like, spirit of the night and fly over to it. I could get a hanged man card on the ground, but, you know, the odds of any of that specifically happening on any individual floor, especially a first floor, are pretty low. So I, I would kiss that item goodbye, not worry about it too, too much. This is a very tricky room here for the first fudgin floor. I, I'm used to big rooms at this point, but this one's got some, some serious fi firepower. Especially, like, we're gonna have to sneak in some pretty intense diagonal shots to have a good chance to get this done, and that champion just came back to life, unfortunately. Jeez Louise, this is uh this is not an easy one. Careful. And maybe just move up a little bit so we can get some shots in here when they kind of dodge across the center. We're almost done, and we played it pretty well. You know, with Curse of the Unknown this early and with Samson's low starting HP, I really don't want to take any chances. Um, so if we can just avoid taking any damage at all, that would be lovely. I mean it always is, but particularly on a Samson run. By the way, thank you to everyone who let me know um, when Bloody Lust actually caps out damage-wise. I appreciate it. Apparently after 6 or 6.5, I can't remember. Um, 6 or 6.5 red hearts of damage, it caps out. Or 6 hits. Clearly I paid very close attention to those messages and now I'm relaying the information in a good way. But hey, it's good to know if you have an IV bag, which shows up uh, fairly frequently. You don't need to use it 20 times like I was doing. You can just get away with using it uh, 6 times. That'll save you some red hearts to actually use for, you know, preserving your own life. Dingle on a room with nothing else. Seems like a pretty leisurely way to get this started here. I am more than content to keep this up. Do have to watch out for the little poop monster up here. Might want to tackle him pretty quickly. Just because he was in, like, my escape route. Yeah, he would have been up here. Not that it would have been too likely to get hit, but hey, always nice to clear that out. Make sure we're okay. Pretty easy dangle fight right there. HP is HP. And I, uh, you know, I'll, I'll resist the temptation to say, hey, remember what I said, that dingle's not that difficult? I think people are, they're coming around to it. They're realizing it. Gurglings, though, man, they can still go suck a donkey as far as I, I didn't say specifically suck a donkey's dick, but hey, would it be would it be any better if they had to suck a donkey's toe as, as opposed to, like, the phallus of a donkey? Either one is probably going to be... You know, a little bit uh, not so tasty and maybe uh, unsanitary as well. I don't necessarily want to say that one part of a donkey is... There's certainly parts of a donkey that are worse. But uh, I don't know if there's any particular ones that are, are preferable. Now, these guys are not so bad. I'm mostly just disappointed that we still have not found our item room. Despite the fact that we've explored almost everywhere on this floor. We're probably going to have to go through that big room, which pisses me off, but... The thing that will piss me off the most is if we go to our item room and then it ends up being like kamikaze or something like that. That'll be the ultimate piss off. So it should be just adjacent to this one, yeah. Eh, this room's not so, so bad. I don't like it, but uh, it could be worse. Free pill. Not free, we had to fight for it. Which is like the ultimate post-apocalyptic scenario. You think fucking this war of mine is dangerous, man? In Isaac... I'm murdering fools just to pick up their pharmaceuticals. Well, I guess that's kind of similar, isn't it? Those games have more in common than you'd think. Both of them 
had a man on the development team who, have a, who had a beard. Um, that's probably pretty uncommon in the game developer industry. Beards, right? I'm being facetious. Now. Let's be cool here. These guys can catch you off guard. One of you's got to be dead soon. Are you fudging me? There's another pill there. So we got two of the same one, which could be great. We will make sure to... Uh, Visit our item room before taking the pill, just in case it's like a telepills I am error type situation. Man, a bomb would be pretty useful right now. But what do we have? Sister Maggie. <laughs> are you a wizard? Two are you a wizard pills? I want to thank you for giving me the best pill of my life. How do you like my Dido impression? I think it's pretty up there. Probably one of the top 100 Dido impressions out there right now. I don't want to toot my own horn, but my Dido game is pretty strong. You think I just know thank you? You have more HP than I thought. But um, she's got that other song as well. What is it? Um, no, maybe that's it. No, she's got... She, I'm, not, I'm not thinking of the, the one from... Uh, Stan by Slim Shady slash Eminem. Wow, that's actually really nice to hear. Um, because, you know, that uses the sample from Thank You, I think. What was the other one? It's called, like... I was gonna say it's called, like, Best Day. And then I thought for a second, and I was like, oh, that's just a lyric from Thank You, isn't it? I forget the other one. Uh, is it worth our two bombs to get this other Tinted Rock? I think we could justify that. Swallowed Penny as well? Eh, you know, it's not amazing, but it is what it is. We're not going to use a key by accident because we have no keys to use. I'm content with this because really the uh, the deal with the devil is pretty much the best thing we could possibly hope for here. So I don't really mind using some extra bombs. Sure, maybe we cost ourselves a chance at the boss trap room by bombing our way into a secret room. Whatever, no big deal. Uh, we might as well get rid of this Are You a Wizard pill at our earliest convenience, because even with PhD, it doesn't transform into anything useful. It still stays bad. Which is nonsense. I'm kind of glad that PhD does make it so that there's, a uh, That PhD does make it so that there's still some pills that are not just exclusively great. But man, Are You a Wizard is not one of them. There are people out there who would rather have, like, a speed downgrade than Are You a Wizard. I may be one of them in some situations. I hate this room. Um, so frequently take damage. You know, if there's one positive thing I can say about the fact that we have Sister Maggie beyond the obvious, you know, we didn't spend a key on it, and it helps us out a little bit, at least it means we won't have Sister Maggie on our deal with the devil, which is always, like, super disappointing. When you're like, hey, okay, let's, we need one guppy item to make this work, and then all of a sudden, Sister Maggie, Ghost Baby, Brother Bobby. Shit. <laughs> we uh, could use a bomb here. Oh, just a second key, but that's fine too. And this is the moment of truth for us, for sure. If we can just get a deal with the devil, we probably don't stand much of a chance of... Uh... Oh, shit. Time to put our money where our mouth is here. Um, we probably don't stand much of a chance of not getting a deal with the devil. Like, I would have to get hit far too much for it to make sense. Should really stop shooting at gurglings while they chase you. I kind of wish we'd lost like one spirit heart just to give us a little bit of damage up, but we've uh, already taken care of one gurgling. The other gurgling should be totally fine. Oh, this is where you get in trouble. You, you kind of trap yourself here. That's all right. We got out of it. A few more hits should sort it right out. Please, good deal with the devil. We can make this run work. One more hit, I think. There we go. Oh, Curse of the Blind. HP up. That's fine. Oh, Death's Touch. Hey, Sights. Are we really going to triple down on this one? I gotta. The Nail. That's actually really good. <laughs> oh, my God. We. You know what we look like right now? I'm going to bring back the, the OG, only 90s kids who will get these, these references reference. Um, we look like... The second episode of the Goosebumps TV show, The Halloween Mask. You know what I'm talking about. Anyone who saw that was scarred for life. Don't even tell me you weren't. Lil' Haunt is pretty good as well. I'm okay with this. 
Now, I'm not loving the fact that we uh, don't have any extra bombs. You know, we spent a lot of HP to get to this position, but I am very content with the situation we are in here. You know what? Just to, just to give ourselves a little bit of a better chance at greatness here, we do have this boss rush room, but also I'm going to open this golden chest back here. Samson's Lock probably beats uh, Swallowed Penny. Maybe duplicate uh, Samson effects? Well, that's that's got to be a Guppy item, I think, so... We'll see. Guppy's head. I'd rather have the nail, but we picked up two Spirit Hearts and a Guppy item. So that's pretty good. Let's see if we can actually get that nail, because I want that to get the charge here. Alright, this is... Uh, we got three Deal with the Devil items. Maybe four if you count Little Haunt. Little Haunt's alright, man. Sometimes causes the enemies to feel some fear. Uh, I'll admit, by the way, Death's Touch is an item that's cooler than it is good. But Penetrative Tears, as I mentioned a couple of runs ago, uh, this should be another Spirit Heart here, actually. Penetrative Tears, you don't need a whole lot of extra damage to, to make Penetrative Tears incredible. If you know where to aim and you can hit multiple enemies at the same time, you can make some, some truly great stuff happen there. Hopefully we have the opportunity to do so. Now, we are ten minutes deep here. And we've only finished the first two floors. That's okay. We got a cool look to us here. Draco 3. Anyway. We, uh... I, I'm very happy with this. I am. I really wish that, uh... I, actually, okay, let's... Let's be careful with how we word things here. I will probably go to that curse room. I don't necessarily wish that Samson's, uh... The Bloody Lust worked this way. But I wish there was an item that worked the same way that... Oh. Careful. That worked the same way... Oh, that Blood Oath works in um, Community Remix. Where the lower your red hearts, the more damage you did in general. Um, instead of maybe just, you know, the more damage you take it on this floor, the more damage you do on this floor. But I, I like both of them. Sincerely. I've taken some dumb damage, but the, uh, the Curse Room, even though it didn't contain the guppy item that I so loved and longed for... It's still great for us because we get the benefit of having... Oh, I wonder if that actually works when his mask is down. Um, we get the benefit of having taken damage but still picked up HP, which is it gives us a damage bonus for free on the floor. Actually, for, for negative, you know? All right, we got the nail ready here. <laughs> Lots of bombs, unfortunately. And we don't really gain anything of value out of here except spiders, but that's all right. We'll get another one-sixth of a spirit heart just for having the audacity to come into the room. That's something. Really thought those guys would die in two hits. Now that it's the end of the world either way. Alrighty. Now again, we, we've gone so slowly from... Should have, oh, I was going to say we should have used a bomb there, but we didn't have a bomb. We've gone so slowly from the start here that it really... Um, like, boss rush is not even close to being in the cards right now, unless something unbelievable happens. Um... But, you know, you don't need to have boss rush for a run to be successful. I would love to just be able to fill up one side of the postcard. And I would be content to just beat Mom's heart. Because that would give us the item that we need. Uh, as Samson. We learned. Uh, maybe we didn't because we... I think we still would have... If there was an item that you unlocked for beating the chest as a, on hard mode as a character. We would have gotten it last run. Because we did get the credit for beating the chest. I, I think. <laughs> uh, we'll buy the spirit heart. We'll buy the key. We'll buy the bomb. And uh, I'm not going to buy the battery because we can get another charge out of it. If we just wait a minute. Presumably, at least. Yeah, and we won't even have to do any backtracking really to get it. Yeah, so that'll save us half a spirit heart basically in the long run. And the timing here is actually pretty much perfect. So we'll get a nail charge after our boss fight. It's always nicer to have the nail charge on the boss fight because you get the damage bonus, but... Again, uh, relatively minor nitpicking type stuff. Peter B. Energy Crystals. But I've never seen anything like this on Oit. You find the Energy Crystals, you'll find Dr. Wowie. That's, uh... You can tell I'm into this run, because I went into that impression with a plum. Might as well. Should have used our nail in the next room just in case we're fighting Krampus, but we're not. You might be saying, well, that's a pretty bold decision to be making without saying a fucking word, Northern Lion, but... Uh, I think it was it was a smart decision, because we have the nail. 
So, let's go over the reasons, because there's actually multiple reasons I think this is fairly smart. With the nail, the less red hearts we have, the more HP capacity we have. I think that's... The less red hearts we have, the more HP capacity we have. For the nail to work, I should say. So it keeps the nail useful, and gives us the benefit of having Headless Baby. On top of that, we also have the value of, um... After we get the Polaroid, having a much better chance to be in permanent Polaroid invincibility. Now, we do face other detriments. You know, if we get an IV bag... I'm not going to be able to use it as effectively as I would like. Um, which is shitty, I guess, but we, we don't come across an arcade right now, so who cares? I think we're just going to end up moving it on to the, the next floor, and uh, I'm going to feel pretty shrewd about this decision. You know, keeps us in good graces for uh, deals with the devil in the future. We still harbor desires for that guppy dream to come true. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little bold, by the way, and I'm going to... Take a look with our bomb for this second secret room right here. I really truly believe that that would work. Sometimes you just gotta take chances even though... Uh, by the way, this is terrible advice. Sometimes you gotta just take chances even if the odds are not in your favor. What you should actually do is, um, you know, have a good knowledge of, uh, you know, the risks and rewards associated with something and make your decision based on that as well as maybe with a, you know, a tilt modifier based on um, how you'll enjoy it yourself. So, there being a blood bank there, yes, if we had been a little bit less aggressive with getting rid of our red hearts, we could uh, enjoy getting some damage upgrades as a result of that. But I've, I've made my bed, and I'm content to lie in it, and actually, it's pretty freaking comfortable. People always say, oh, you made your bed, you gotta lie in it. Well, in this case, you know, I made my bed, and I bought some fucking, you know, like, 1200 thread count sheets, and... You know, I've, I've folded them all up nicely so your little toesies are still warm, even in the winter. Even if you try to kick out the blanket, it, you just can't do it because I've, you know, I've tucked it in there with the efficacy of a, uh, like a French maid, an au pair, au pair, if you will. That's not a very good pronunciation there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm content to make my bed, I'm content to make my bed and then lie in it. Why wouldn't I lie in it if I made my bed? You've already... Oh, that was bad. I've already done the hard work. Not that making your bed is necessarily hard work, but you've done the, the hard part in making your bed. Of course you want to lie in it. What is this? You've made your bed. Now fuck off. Go sleep on the couch. No one ever says that expression. I don't get that. You've made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. Doesn't make any darn sense. I'm more interested in our item room than our shop. As always, but... Um... Particularly right now, because we don't have enough money to make our our shop necessarily worthwhile. Now we've got a second key, so we'll be looking out for that money. But, you know, if you if you don't have enough money to make your shop worthwhile, pretty much what you're hoping is that you pick up a, a key. So that you, you pay, spend a key, go to the shop, spend five cents, and then you can go to your item room anyway. And hope that another key shows up later. So this is perfect timing. we got a fairly decent assortment of damage bonuses. As a result of the fact that we've taken... Uh, more damage than I'd otherwise feel comfortable with on this floor. It was not perfect timing, actually. Just a little bit slow. Uh, and this is like your straight up ideal boss fight if you are dealing penetrative damage. Um, pretty much, Gertie can't shoot at us. Little Haunt has a stationary target to attack, and all we need to do is take care of enemies that literally die in one or two hits while we're already dealing damage to the boss itself. This is a great situation for us. And we'll get a nail charge, and hopefully a three spirit heart deal with the devil. Fair enough. Sing it with me now, you can't always get what you want. The shot speed upgrade's not bad, you know. The, the scythes, they travel a little faster, a little easier to hit with them. Doesn't bother me. We're slowly uh, building a, a winning run here. And again, like the penetrative damage, or penetrative ability of the sights is good. The damage is not that amazing to start with. Largely irrelevant, though. Okay, try not to walk on the spikes. That's like the number one way that I could take less damage and, and make my life so much easier. This is a... Oh, <laughs> this is a great situation for us. Despite the anguished scream you just heard. Because there was a very good chance that we got red, uh, red chests in here, but we didn't, so... Lotty fucking da. That being said, the limited amounts of money we here or we got here, although small, do put us over the threshold to be able to get something from our shop, no matter what the cost. Uh, well, not no matter what the cost. We know what the cost is, so 
you know, we'd, we'd, we've done our research appropriately there. Um, I don't really know what I'd be on the lookout for. On the surface, it, it feels like something, oh, something like Converter would be great. But, uh, you know, after going off on that tangent about how we don't want to have red hearts and we just want to have spirit hearts instead, I don't know if that's necessarily the most justifiable course of action. Maybe I would just be happy to get another charge on our, uh, on our nail here. And then, oh, also pick up a battery as a result. That's my creep, yeah. I've taken more damage than I'm comfortable with on this floor. I'm, I'm very displeased, actually, with the, the kind of... The, the acumen, or lack thereof, I've been showing right now. Very much wish that I, uh... Was a little bit more improved right now. But we're lucky to have an item like the nail that does allow us to replenish our hearts. Our spirit hearts, specifically, here. We'll get stronger as the run goes along. If for no other reason, then, um... If for no other reason, then, uh, we have, uh, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility, at least for now. But we're missing a certain je ne sais quoi, which I can only assume is French for fuck ton of damage upgrades. By the way, I know what je ne sais quoi means in French. Even if you don't speak French, let's have a little French hour here. And I don't mean this to be off offensive to my viewers who actually speak French. Because you're going to think that I'm terrible at speaking French, and that's okay, because I am. But even if you're in, uh, you know, a place that doesn't speak French, this is why I saved uh, the nail, just in case we needed the damage bonus here. Um, you know, there are some, there's some phrases you should know. Je ne sais quoi. That means, I don't know what. You know, people always say, I need a certain je ne sais quoi. You know, I, I'm missing something, but I don't know what it is. If you're talking about cooking, it's usually just salt or some kind of fat. Just throw it in there, all right? You look like a genius. Um, other ones. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? That means, um, would you like to come to bed with me right now? That's a good one, in case you're trying to do karaoke to Lady Marmalade uh, with Maya, Lil' Kim, Pink, and Christina Aguilera. Uh, a la mode. That means, um, with ice cream. There you go, if you're at, uh, if you're at Baskin Robbins, you want to try to sound fancy. Maybe you're on, you know, first date and you're 11 years old. And you, uh, you say, hey, I'll have the uh, vanilla ice cream, a la mode. Just makes you look like an idiot. Don't do it. Or maybe it'll be really funny. I don't know. That sounds like something I would do. Ooh! Oh! Okay. Well, I guess truth be told, that's not that bad. I'm trying to think of other French phrases that come up. C'est la vie. It means, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's life, dog. The dog is kind of a poetic touch that I've added. Say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't. Say you will, say you'll lead some of the Sailor I don't remember. Bewitched, whatever happened to those guys? Paragons of, of talent. Maybe like a haunt could show up, like right now. Je t'aime, you know, that's a song by dirty old perv Serge Gainsbourg. It means I love you, I think. Puis à la salle de bain, so we'll play. If you're in ninth grade French class, that means, excuse me, I need to take a piss, like, right now. That's about all I got. Je voudrais un croissant. Je voudrais poutine. Means I would like, I think. Fuck this room, right? Like, I don't play the Binding of Isaac to do this Pac-Man bullshit, Edmund. Oh my god! Who okay? One of you die! There oh yeah, it does take some more damage, right? After, we really need nuns to have it, man. If I'm gonna deal with rooms like this. Bullshit! Endlessly day after day. God damn it. It's not like a run-sinking room, if you only get it once or twice, but... Jeez Louise, that's annoying. Nail uh, also allows us to stomp these things. I should have noticed that earlier. But that's like, maybe you don't want to use the nail always for the damage bonus. Sometimes you can use the nail uh, for uh, something like that instead. Which is not a bad idea. When there's skulls on the room, because skulls... That's tarot cards. 
or black hearts, both of which can be pretty effective for me. I don't see any tinted rocks in this room. Should be uh, more vigilant about looking for them. So this is the room where, like, the invincibility of the chariot makes it so tempting. But apart from the invincibility of the chariot, we can't use it. It doesn't do anything for us here. Okay, let's do this. I'm very thankful, by the way, that I'm not a total idiot. I thought maybe we would be uh, against Mom, but we're only on Necropolis 1. We're very lucky, by the way. There's rocks in the way of that other peep, so we can pretty much just go to town on this bad boy right here. And he'll actually jump away from us thanks to Little Haunt uh, striking fear into the hearts of uh, Peep right there. Which means that we can just stay as far away as is humanly possible, then we take care of one Peep. It's this one Peep that's got me thinking... Now, if I'm gonna try to imitate anybody's vocal stylings, maybe I should go for a song that's maybe not as, like, uh, you know, all over the place as Amari's One Thing. It's a good, it's a classic jam, though. It doesn't get that much, uh... Respect in this day and age because I think Amari never really went on to become uh, you know the next Beyonce or anything like that But Amari's one thing is a pretty good joint on it, man Beats the hell out of some of the other pop songs that came out this year like Christina Aguilera's ain't no other man Why am I even talking about this as if I know what I'm talking about all right cat of nine tails is good Both of these are fantastic. The only question is whether or not we can justify it one is guaranteed On normal mode, this is not a very trick. Right. On normal mode, this is not a very tricky decision. Both of those we would pick up in a heartbeat. On hard mode, it's a very tricky decision. We had to go with uh, the damage upgrade from the mark. That gave us a... Sp not a tinted rock. That gave us a spirit heart back, which is fine. I don't mind that too much, but... Uh, we... Uh Unfortunately, now find ourselves very low on HP. But our damage is going to be fantastic. Now, there's our item room. We can't, can't enter that, unfortunately. You know what? We'll, uh, let's put a bomb down here. Spirit hearts? We, we could really use them. Then we'll start cracking these bad boys open. Really? You're just all going to be skulls then. I mean, you started as skulls. Now you're here, but... I wish that less of you were skulls and more of you were like good tarot cards. Or black hearts. Oh, ghost baby. Not the best of the babies, but... I said ghost baby. You're gonna be the one that maybe slightly saves me. I can't really see if that's a tinted rock. I'm gonna assume no. Our damage is so good. It's gonna go down a little bit on the next floor, but we have, you know, we've improved it for ourselves. I... I can't really justify going to our curse room here. Unless we'll we'll check and see if the secret room is uh, adjacent to it. Uh, and also, we can look for our second secret room, like right here. Okay, so we're gonna gamble in the hopes of getting a key. Part of the reason we picked up humbling bundle. If it was almost any other item on that uh, deal with the devil after the pact, I probably would have said no. But because humbling bundle is one of those items that I've nearly designated as like unassailable. If it, if it shows up and it won't literally kill you to take it, it's almost always in your best interest to take it. So, I, you know, put your money where your mouth is, basically. I'm loving this luck, by the way. I think I'm having a really good time with this slot machine. Donating money. We're getting a pretty sweet payout right now. Not frustrating at all. When we get down to 15 cents, we're going to blow it up. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, oh. I don't mind an eternal heart, actually. It does ruin our permanent Polaroid invincibility. But I'll take it nonetheless. Hey, you know what? Fair play. You gave us a, you gave us a bomb and a key. Don't you know? And haven't you seen? Haven't you seen that a bomb is a key? I said the bomb, bomb, bomb is the key. I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to go to the curse room. I know I said I wasn't going to. Now that we've got this eternal heart, though, I feel a little bit braver, a little brasher. That's okay. We got a, we got one spear at our back. Cost us a bomb. I said a bomb. bomb. <laughs> okay, not gonna, not gonna do that. It's already too late. You got the song stuck in your head, but you know, wasn't my intention. Two bombs here. One, two. Oh, Burkano. 
Judgment. Oh, you would be a fucking demon judge. Where's our chariot card? Work with me here, chariot. Work with me. Work with me. He sort of worked with me. Gave me a strength card. Uh, well, if we use the str God, I'll take our eternal heart. Okay, we'll use the world card. Now we can see our secret room. We'll use Burkano, which basically just gives us three flies, three spiders. Take the strength card with us. I really think that Demon Judgment is like so close to paying out. So we can save a key, use two bombs here. I'm gonna take it. Cursed Eye, yes, it has the potential to fudge up your entire run, no question about it, but it only has, the, we, there was a post on the subreddit, it only has the possibility to teleport you if you're in the period between when you start charging and when your eye starts blinking, which, let's time it, ready? Three, two, one, go. For us, that's like literally about a second right now, I think. Oh, we gotta go to our item room. Uh, so that's, I, I think it's worth taking, as long as you're very conscious about what you're doing with it, and I think it's gonna really up our damage. It makes it look freaking stupid. That's okay. Bob's rotten head is not good at all, of course. But we can use it to, uh, you know, blow up some, some skulls here. Got a terror, if that's a chariot card, who knows what the future could hold. High Priestess. I think it's better than the Strength card. Alright. We're, we're at the very least in a very interesting run right now. Slow as molasses, but interesting nonetheless. So we'll head downwards to the next floor via Chicago here. Curse of the Blind means we can't see what our items are. Which is really shitty because, you know, if we get a deal with the Devil, we're probably going to... A desire to know what our items are. Nothing out of those. Well, the golden key is pretty fantastic for us here. Oh, Krampus. Well, it doesn't matter, because if we pick it up and we get uh, Krampus's head, we're not going to take it. And if we pick it up and it's lump of coal, we want it. That sucks. I would have preferred lump of coal, but that's okay. Extra spirit heart. Sure, you know, it's not guppy items, but it's worthwhile. Now, our, our scythes are not doing incredible damage here. But anytime we can start a fight with a full charge of them, we're doing all right. And that's the thing, like, Cursed Eye, sure, I mean, there's some problems associated with it, no question about it. But I do think it gets kind of a bad rap. And everyone always says, well, you just haven't had it fuck you. I, I have had Cursed Eye fuck me on camera, nonetheless. It's being sold by Vivid Entertainment right now. One night at Northern Lion's house. Or Curse of the... I don't know. There's a, there's a joke there somewhere. You can work it out. Uh, anything? Mueller? It's okay, though. Uh, I, I think if you're going to call Cursed Eye shit... You would do well to, to at least fully understand the mechanics, and if you try it out, knowing the mechanics a few times and actually putting up like a concerted effort to try to make it work, and you still think it sucks, you know, different strokes for different folks. But if you're just saying like, oh, I, I keep playing it the way that it's, the way that I play with every other item in the game and it kind of screwed me, then you gotta, you gotta give it a chance, man. You might be saying, well, I don't want to take items that force me to play differently. And that's actually like a totally valid, just looking for tinted rocks. That's a totally valid way of thinking. That's why a lot of people, sometimes myself included, don't want to take Bob's brain. That being said, there are some situations where if I hadn't taken Bob's brain, I would have lost a run. There are some situations where by taking Bob's brain, I lost a run as well. Might as well crush these just in case. Just in case. Which one do you guys like here? Bogo bombs. Eh, eh, it's okay. 603, that's the magic number right there. Figured we get another uh, battery charge. Hmm, well, we know we're not going to have to worry about a deal with the devil here. Mysterious liquid, toxic splash damage. Uh, I don't think this item's that good, but I think it is okay. Oh, there's some bombs back there that I didn't notice. Like, I, I think it's alright. At best. Should be able to do fine against Mom. I actually really like our damage now. Ooh, careful. This is a good room to use the nail on if we... Nice. 
<laughs> it's a good room to use the nail on if we get the chance. You know what? Let's uh, let's come down this way then. We haven't been down this way very much. And of course, er I know that every time I pick up Cursed Eye and I defend it, every time I teleport, people are going, look at this shithead. Look at this shithead. He, he said it was good, and now he's reaping the, the cost of it. Hey, man. It there's Cursed Eye is one of the items in the game that has like the most clear like divide between risk and reward because, you know, the risk happens instantly. That being said, there's no need to rub it in, you know? Rub it in, rub it in. Another good room to use uh, the nail on. Plenty of skulls going on up in there. Careful. Careful. Full health. That's great, man. I was, I was getting a little dire there. You've helped me out a great deal. Don't think we're going to be gambling too much more. On this run. Ooh. So, what happened there? Let's let's go through the post mortem. I uh, walked into the room, almost walked on the site on the spikes. Panicked. As a result, hit the like A and W keys at the same time because I really wanted a root beer. And then, um, unfortunately, I, I you know chubby fingered it a little bit and uh, hit the Q key. Causing High Priestess to slam down on top of me with the force of a thousand suns. Couple of tarot cards. Three tarot cards, no skulls. That's a that's a good get for us here. Justice is also a good get. Here a font is all that was great. And we'll save Wheel of Fortune because there is the chance that it, uh, you know, if we have nothing else to take, it gives us an extra chest, basically, on the chest. There were some bombs back there that I missed. Very stupid of me. Don't do what I do, kids. Always pay attention to what your consumables are dropping. Now, this is where things become important. You know, if you teleport out of a, a regular room, you know, BFD, you just walk back in. You teleport out of this room, your life becomes a lot harder. You know, you budget your HP to be able to take out the bosses once. Not to have to fight them like three and a half times. Polaroid is at the top. We've already seen that Krampus' head is in here. We're better off with the nail, I think. Let's head down to the next floor. Alright, good run. Beating Mom's Heart will give us the unlocks that I desire here. Curse of Darkness is, again, one of the better curses that we could come across here. Wheel of Fortune on the chest is actually better... Uh, than just... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Humbling Bundle. Uh, Wheel of Fortune on the chest is actually better than a chest. Because in addition to giving us an item, we can gamble on it for more consumables. Oh, what the heck? We can gamble on it for more consumables if we want to slash have to. That's my own creep, I think, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually very happy to have it. Nails ready. Uh, we're going to slow it down a little bit. Use it on this room. Think there's anything up there I could kill? Nice. Uh, Bogo bombs actually turned out to be a pretty sweet option for us. Because we have bomb bag. Crap. Because... We <laughs> that was pretty lucky. Because we have Bomb Bag, Bogo Bombs basically gives us like two bombs every four rooms, which is pretty good. Then, anytime bombs are going to pay out with one, it now pays out with four thanks to Humbling Bundle plus Bogo Bombs. So, we shouldn't be in too much trouble when it comes to bombs for the rest of the game. And we've only taken damage uh, once on this floor, and we're doing some pretty solid damage ourselves. So, you know, that's, that's a pretty good indicator of, of how things are going. Ooh. Okay, it's a pretty good indicator of how things are going here on a, uh, a Samson run. You know, if you're doing decent damage to enemies without actually having uh, hurt yourself or been hurt in the process, life's good. Now, this is another room I, I desperately do not want to teleport out of. So we're not going to charge until he pops up again. Loving this right here. P-O-L-Y, polycephalus, right? Here. There we go. Number one way to goad polycephalus to come out is a Limp Biscuit reference. Most people don't know that. Good. 
Dead end, though. We could... Uh, we should have crushed those rocks. It's a little late now. What is my ideal circumstance now? Deal with the devil. We walk in. They give us... Nine lives and another guppy item. We pick up nine lives. We stay at one HP as a result. Six bombs. Not so bad. Um, we'll go back for those. We stay at... Uh, I just didn't want to walk on the creep. We stay at one HP as a result. Pick up the other guppy item. Nearly at the HP cap with spirit hearts alone. Have become guppy. Win the run. Odds of it happening? Eh, 10%. There's other outcomes for us, you know, like we just get a really good deal with the devil. Doesn't have to be two guppy items, like those two guppy items specifically. We do, uh, you know, Im improve our chances somewhat by going to this curse room, so I'm going to do it. Even though it's going to cost us two spirit hearts and give us nothing but spiders. Ah, but we t teleported on the way out. We still took damage, but we teleported on the way out, y'all. Pretty exciting. But I, mean, I shouldn't be too mad, you know, by going to the curse room, we at least upped our damage for whatever this boss is going to be. I'm going to do some more rooms, because I do feel like we're doing more damage to the game than the game's doing to us. At least, you know, the damage that I've taken has largely been willing thus far. Willingly. But, this floor is over. <laughs> so we'll just go. And I, we should have nearly 100% deal with the devil chance. Who are we up against? The bloat. One of the more difficult bosses, you don't need me to tell you that. Fairly conceivable that we uh, find ourselves in a dangerous situation charge-wise here. We really don't want to have to do any of this fight all over again. That was a great bomb. I was very lucky to not be charging there. Whoa, we stepped on creep. That was bad. Did we step on creep or get hit by an eye? Must have been hit by an eye. No deal with the devil, but a damage upgrade and range. You know, range is kind of secondary to us at this point. Remember, Mom's Heart is the crux of this run. I think we're going to do it. Everything after that is just gravy. Womb 2 with no curses. Somebody up there likes me. Somehow did not take damage there either. Now, we can't really gamble on our blood bank because it'll take uh, like half a red heart and half or one full spirit heart. I don't know. I want to come in there anyway and just see what's up, but... It's not as useful as it might be if we had, like, a little bit more HP. We do have a boss trap room, and we got a nail charge. You know, we could get some red chests out of that. Red chests are still useful for us. I, th I still think it might be worth it. Let's take the pill quickly. Oh, that's bad, man. It's one of the... I don't think I've ever been hit by taking a paralysis pill, or, like, as a result of taking a paralysis pill, but... Could have come close there. So this room, almost certainly not worth it. <laughs> but worst case scenario, one-sixth of a spirit heart. And maybe some damage upgrades if I take damage. That's a very, uh, that's a very optimistic way to think about it, though. Man, I wish we got Lump of Coal. This is a, a very good example, by the way, of who... Of who dares wins. If we had been uh, way less aggressive on those blood banks, I don't think... Did I even show the seed on this? I showed the seed on this run, right? Yeah. Uh, if we'd been way less aggressive on this run, not taking those deals with the devil, I think we'd find ourselves in a much worse location or situation. But I might be mistaken. The reason I was questioning whether or not I showed the seed is because I always like to hear uh, how other people did on the seed, with, especially when they took wildly divergent options. Like, it, sometimes people are like, hey, I played the same seed and I beat the game. But it's not that interesting. It's just like they beat the game because they played better than I did, not because they necessarily got better items. That's cool. Like That's like the ultimate show of skill that you're better than me and Isaac. You did it. N like non-sarcastic despite the tone of my voice. Congratulations there. But it's always cooler when people are like, I didn't take the deal with the devil that you took. And as a result, I got a deal with the angel. The deal with the angel was like a holy mantle. And then that let me go to curse rooms for free despite my HP being nearly zero. And then I pulled out something incredible out of my butthole and, and won the game nonetheless. That stuff's cool. And on runs that are like easy wins, it's like, you know, I don't really need to know how you did. I'm not going to open those because those could hurt me. Just as likely to help me as hurt me. Um, ooh, that was a little close. Um, on easy wins, it's like, yeah, I don't need to know how you did. I'm sure you did fine. 
but on uh, on difficult ones, it's always nice to see the kind of how, how divergence can change things. Now consumables are doing fine. The the other reason, by the way, that humbling bundle like if it was not a no-brainer pickup before, which it is, um, the reason that I was so tempted to take it and ended up actually did taking it on uh, this run is because it's hard mode, and I'm like, well, consumables are so hard to come by. More than doubling our consumable output eventually because of BOGO bombs is... It, it seems too good to pass up. Was it? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we end up losing by like 2 HP or something. Or conceivably by 2 HP because there's no other way we could know. You get the idea though. Just leave. Come back. Maybe bump some of those up there. Never know if maybe we could have found an accidental tinted rock. I'm sorry dude. I just can't. I can't do it. Can't force myself to maybe walk on the spikes just to get an HP upgrade. I don't want to talk about it, guys. Um, that Oh, no. Should have walked out. That is a situation uh, of me being an idiot and pretty much getting my exact comeuppance with uh, Cursed Eye. So let's be smarter about this. We're not going to have our damage bonus via the nail. That shouldn't matter too much. 46 bombs. We gotta look for uh, some extra love here. Could play that guy, but it's, it's risky. It's really just uh, it's just these laser turrets, man. So likely to hit us like instantly. Oh my god, three hits it requires. Kill. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just be very careful about your charging. We're not really doing as much damage as I thought uh, against some of these enemies, like those red skull turrets. I'm like, you, you shouldn't do shit, man. You should be dead in one hit, okay? I'm so lucky that I was not charging in those situations. And again, that's kind of the strength of Samson is that the more damage you take, the stronger you get. Brimstone? Yeah, we're fast enough. This went fine. We unlocked Fighting Baby! That's a great name. Remember that deal with the devil is a trick and does nothing for us as we head up to the next floor and we'll desperately be hoping to uh, up our HP a little bit. But recall, as always, the most wonderful reindeer of all. All we gotta do is get carried, carried. Just make it down to the chest. You'll just pick up Polyphemus. Then pretend that you're the best. All of the other viewers used to laugh and <laughs> now I'm like way out of uh Uh we're just gonna leave, dog. We're like way out of sync with the actual verse there. Well, then one shitty Isaac run, Krampus came to say, ho, 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 Samson with your headband so bright, won't you use my head tonight? Well, then all the viewers loved him. Anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I am... I am shocked at how long I think I could keep continuing to sing that, but um, I'm, I'm going to start talking again because it's a little bit easier to do. This is not going so hot. Let's just, you know, be straight with this right now. We're going to need some nail charges right away. At least, again, you know, you take damage, you do more damage. You know, the, you, you learn the most from your defeats, right? That's what, that's what this is teaching me right now. Nail charge is almost ready. This is a big room. I hear that cat number two is into big cathedral rooms. How did you know that? Oh, I didn't, baby. You just told me. There's a tinted rock. I would not have seen that unless the game basically forced me to dodge down here. And that's a damage upgrade. I'll be honest with you. Spirit Heart might be uh, more beneficial for me right now. But a damage upgrade is a damage upgrade, man. 
I have not touched that other Envy, apparently. Which is fine by... Well, there, it finally cracked open. It's fine by me. I hate this room. More shots we have from piercing shots, the better, because you can actually kill some of the bodily segments um, before you'd expect... What the hell, dog? You're still at, like, full HP! How did that happen? I thought I was like, okay, well, finally, like, little haunt has cracked you open or something like that. No such luck, apparently. What is wrong with this picture here? Fucking finally. I, I doubt there's two tinted rocks on the same room. Get that nail ready. This is actually a great room to have the nail charge. Otherwise, you might have to F around a little tediously with, like, dropping a bomb down. Made it a little easier. And remember, like, we don't have to get uh, too IGGY with this run. We just gotta... Just gotta do enough damage to kill Isaac, get down to the chest. We got Wheel of Fortune, that gives us a little extra... A little extra push in the right direction. Monstro, shoe fly don't bother me here. I hate myself. Uh, we should get a tarot card here. That could be very nice. A Hierophant card would be amazing. And you you will never on this run... Ooh, no. <laughs> you will never on this run be able to make me think that Cursed Eye is killing us. In spite of the fact that we've teleported a few times, that's my fault, right? If you die with Mom's Knife, because you get too close to the enemies and you don't know how to dodge effectively. That's not Mom's Knife problem, man. Mom's Knife's problem, man. That's your problem, man. Um, and I also feel like the, the increased damage we're doing as a result of Cursed Eye has allowed us to get to the relatively good position we're in to begin with. That was poor damage on my part. I'll, I'll admit that straight up. But you know the drill. All you've literally got to do is make it to the chest. Now, if we could just make this young gentleman... What hit me there? What? What the... Where did you come from? What do you got? I don't even understand what happened there, to be honest. Did I get killed by Isaac? Like, one of the bullets? If I just didn't see that, I apologize. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.